Do you have a tendency to categorize food, good or bad? Listen in as Catherine Fink Martinez and I chat about this. And by the way, the only bad food is the food you've stolen or one that's rotten. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Hey, Paleo Nutrition. I am talking to Catherine Fink Martinez. We are wrapping up the Texas Academy Conference and she had a really terrific talk yesterday. Um, we we're talking about food and how people have a tendency to vilify food in some ways, you know, where there's good food and bad food. And uh, so we're going to talk about that. So what are, your, what are your thoughts about good food, bad food, and how can we stop people, um, stop that cycle? Well, you know, language is really, really important. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the first thing is that there are no good foods, there are no bad foods, period. Mm -hmm. You know, the only reason that a food would be bad would be or you know it's mm -hmm. how we go about it like if we committed a crime <laughs> that would that would make if it bad it. right <laughs> right but you know eating food there's many different reasons why we eat food and taking just one particular food and villainizing it is not right because we have satisfaction all food has nutritional value of somewhat to it it's more of the big picture so when we take just little snippets we're missing the whole picture and there is room for balance there's room for satisfaction and my motto is there's always room for ice cream and chocolate mm -hmm. And there truly is always room. It's working into that balance. You know, when we label food and we think, oh, I was bad because I ate that food or this mm -hmm. food is bad, you know, it's just beating ourselves up and right. it's negative and there's not really any benefit for doing it. It just makes us feel even worse. Like, okay, well, I've already screwed up, so I might as well just go on ahead and finish everything off. And, you know, the Monday morning diet mentality, right. I'll mm -hmm. start again tomorrow, mm -hmm. you know, or I'll start again on Monday, so I might as well just blow the rest of the day versus, you know, like, okay, it's just one meal, you exactly. know, and you go about eating the rest of your day, you know, and eating intuitively and really listening to the body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the message then is not to label foods good and bad, that all foods can fit. And if, if you label, if you eat something that you don't think you should be eating, that no big deal. Right. And just move on and... Well, you know, sometimes if you like eat food that you feel like you shouldn't be eating, mm -hmm. then the question is, is it because you're eating too much? Mm -hmm. Like, are you feeling uncomfortable? Do you feel out of control about it? Or is it because of how you're thinking about it? You know, like, mm -hmm. oh, this was not good. This was, you know, the bad food. I shouldn't have eaten that, you know? So there's often more to the picture mm -hmm. of why we feel like that. Could even be messages from childhood, like somebody had said, oh, that that's, you know, not a very good food. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, don't worry, you're gonna gain weight if you ate that food. Right, right. You know. okay, all right, very good. Thanks. Thanks again, Catherine Finca Martinez, and her uh, website is confidenceineating.com. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Excellent. All right. Thanks for watching Melia Nutrition. We'll see you in the next video.